Hello everyone, welcome to Malki Singh Academy. This is Jaskira Singh here. Today in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create pre-filled Google Forms. So let's get started. First of all, open up your Google Drive. So in this Google Drive, I have created a folder pre-filled form. So similarly, you can also create. So in this folder, I have created one Google Sheet and one Google Form. Similarly, you can also create that. So let me open up this Google Sheet here. So in this Google Sheet, I have created some uh, employee data here like employee ID, first name, last name, department and their gender. So I have also created a one column that is form link. So I, we are going to copy our prefer link in the form link. So let me open up this Google form. So in this Google form, we are going to create a pre-filled Google form. So let's get started. First of all, guys, uh, create a question here. And in this question, I'm going to copy the column head of my Google Sheet, the first column head that is employee ID. So I'm going to copy it and paste it here. And I'm going to make it short type of answer question. So after that, I'm going to create a new question. So new question is for the second column head that is first name. So I'm going to copy that here and going to paste it here. And similarly, I'm going to do it the, all the column heads. So our next one is our last name. So I'm going to again copy that. The purpose of me uh, doing all these copy and pasting is that we are going to predefine pre-filled form. We are going to create a pre-filled form for all these uh, column heads like employee ID, first name, last name, department and gender. So we are going to provide that information to our user so that they can uh, they do not need to fill out these details. So we are going to provide that. So after adding all the column heads like employee ID to gender, let's add some question also. So uh, let's add uh, two questions here. So these questions are going to fill by that particular user whom we are going to add into our Google form. So let's uh, add a question like, uh, do you like this video? So I'm going to make it this uh, multiple choice question. Yes, no, maybe. So and let's add another question here. That is, uh, let's add a rating linear scale question. So how much do you like my video? So I'm going to make it a linear, so zero to one. So user have to rate me in this form. So after adding all the questions, so let me change this video. So I'm a terrible in grammar. So after adding all the questions here, our Google form has been created here. Now let's create a pre-fill link here. So in order to create a pre-fill link, and you can also take a look at the preview of your Google form, how this is going to look. So you have to click on the I symbol here. So for in order to create a prefill link, you have to click on this three dotted button and uh, click on this get prefill link. So it will open up the Google form in another window. Now you have to uh, input all the information. So I'm uh, inputting a random information like employee ID, one, two, three, and all that in all the in all the questions here. So I'm going to leave these questions uh, left because these are to submit by the user. So click on the get link button here and copy your link now paste this link into your google sheet so this is your google sheet i have created a column head for a form link so i'm going to paste it here before pasting create a type equal to and type hyperlink and when you click on hyperlink you have to paste and uh, this uh, link of your prefilled link into your this uh, column heads here so after pasting that you have to change certain information here so as I input all the data like one, two, three in employee ID, so you can see here. So you have to remove that. So as you can clearly see that one, two, three. So that is the employee ID and all that in the other Google Forms. So I have to delete the one, two, three from the first column head, and I'm going to paste here double quotation, and uh, let's add double quotation and double and percent. So we can we can we can use that uh, first column head that is A2. So A2 you have can, you can directly write it here or you can select from the cell number. Similarly, you have to change the second uh, question that is uh, first name. So I'm going to put a double quotation and uh, double percent sign and then in that percent sign I'm going to write B2. And similarly, you have to do all with the all the uh, left questions that we have here. So in the last name, we are going to write C2 and uh, in the department, we are going to write uh, D2. And at last, you can see we have a question here like uh, gender. So in the gender, we have our E2. So we are at the last, we are going to write E2. So all you have to do is 
a quotation and uh, in that quotation you have to write a double n percent and in that n percent you have to write the cell number so you can directly write the cell number or you can also select that and so at last we are going to write double quotation and in double quotation we are going to write double n percent and in between the double n percent we are going to write the cell number so that is our e2 so that is all and after that uh, put a bracket here to close this uh, formula here so, and press enter so this is how your google form will going to create a link for your google form so just uh, let me click on it and uh, we i'm going to show you that it automatically picks up the information that i have just provided here so one just kirat name saying department is computer gender is male so similarly so you don't need to write all that into your other cells just copy this cell here and it will automatically uh, update all the cell numbers into your other numbers so let me copy and drag it to the uh, downwards here so as you can see it uh, copies all the cells here so let me open up second link so if you open the second link it automatically picks up all the details of your second employee that is uh, employee number 2 uh, just mean so that is my sister name so let's add our third so similarly and uh, let me drag it to the downward so it is automatically copy all the links into this google form um, that i have copied all the data from the prefilled link so this is how you can create a google form into your and you can send it to your particular users for that so they don't need to input all the basic details so they can directly use their links from that and prefilled link so that is all guys that how you can get create a prefilled link hope you like this video